there this is a follow-up to my last video where I was demonstrating how to sew parallel lines of conductive thread um, onto a muslin so that you don't have to hand sew um, the uh, basically the lines for your LEDs uh, what would be a lot more useful is having a ribbon that was um, the size of your NeoPixel, like this, where you have the ground, data, and positive all lined up. And uh, so I have a lot of this ribbon. It's, it's pretty ugly, but it's fascinating that these clear parts between the four rows of colors actually line up perfectly with where I want these uh, these lines of conductive thread. So just like the last video, I've got um, one strand, this is the three ply, one strand going through the far left tunnel and one strand going through the far right tunnel. That gives me, um, oh, probably about three millimeters in between and then I will finish this length of whatever I do and then start again at the beginning and just feed one of these tunnels with the conductive thread and I know exactly where to sew. I can just line up right with this clear tunnel. It was pretty tricky starting out trying to manipulate you know the two threads in the back, the two threads in the front and holding onto this really slippery ribbon but once I got going a few inches I found a little method so I'm just going to demo a little bit here and then I will show the finished product and show different ways to use it with your NeoPixel so that it won't short and also maybe so that it won't show. So I'll stop that there, make another run, and then um, see what see what success we can have with sewing the NeoPixels to fabric and getting some connectivity. So uh, one quick note, so I'm working on my third thread and I want full disclosure, so if someone tries this, um, it's they don't have to guess. So I had to change the stitch width or the stitch number and then the stitch width because otherwise it may um, it may start getting in the way of the other ones and then splitting splitting them so I'm just feeding it through the center channel the center tunnel and I've got it a width of um, 3.5 and that seems to be pretty good for this let me just double check. So that's good. It's not too wide so that it goes off the ribbon or touches um, the, the middle conductive thread. Um, but it is, uh, it is wide enough to clear just the, uh, the single one that you're doing. Okay, just wanted to include that. Hi there, so here is my experiment. So it worked. So I guess I sound surprised. The, um, so this is the ribbon that I sewed three parallel lines on the machine. So I have them hooked up to uh, obviously a Gemma 
and I forget what program is on. Just uh, something basic. Might have been for the uh, Cassiopeia the constellation. So yeah, I think it is because the LED is is flashing. So I'm just gonna I'm not gonna move any of the connections pr because it's pretty precarious the way everything is set up there. I could probably short it easily. So um, this is I pinned it on the inside, and uh, if I go under, that's the LED. Um, pretty. So I um, I just tied tied knots on the connections. I didn't. Um, seal it with nail polish or anything like that but anyways I'm pretty happy with this so this could have pretty good application so maybe I'll do a more detailed um, one of it later. Oh look it turned purple. <laughs> so anyways my battery is running out so uh, thanks so much and I hope you learned if you have any questions or comments um, put them down below and I'll try my best if I overlook something or didn't explain it or show it correctly. Thank you!